it's Kurt from City Campus, and uh, we're here having our devotional time, and we're doing our devotional time for the next week and a half, two weeks, more, on the Bible. And part of the 10 Basic Steps is to get familiar with God's amazing book, as we talked about yesterday, the Book of Books. So I uh, hope you'll share and uh, subscribe and all of those things uh, to this channel so that you'll be able to have a chance to see all of these. You can hit that bell button, you'll get a notification when we post a new video, which is every day at eight o'clock. So you get a chance to see all of those and I hope you'll uh, check, them out, check them out. Uh, let's go ahead and get to our study on the Bible. As I mentioned, we did the book of books yesterday and today we're gonna to be talking about the central person of the Bible and that is Jesus. Genesis 3.15 says this, I'll cause hostility between you and the woman and between her offspring and your, and your offspring, and, yet, you know, and he'll strike your head, you'll strike his heel. Now, God is saying this to Satan. The serpent has just caused Adam and Eve to sin. And he's telling the serpent, you know, there's going to be hostility between you and this woman you caused to sin, and her offspring is going to strike your head. And you're gonna hurt him by striking his heel, but he's gonna strike your head and kill you. And he's talking about Jesus. He's talking about Jesus. In um, Revelation, Jesus says, I'm coming soon. And from the first book in the Bible to the last, you hear about Jesus. You, you hear Jesus talked about. His name might be, not be mentioned in every book, but in every book, they, they refer to him, even in a book like Esther, where we really don't hear too much about God, the concept of redemption is there. All the middle of that, you know, you have Genesis, you have Revelation, and in the middle, it's all his story. The Bible's all about Christ and his redemption of us on the cross. It's what the Bible is about. In fact, Paul the Apostle, probably one of the greatest theologians of all time, said this about the Bible. In 1 Corinthians 15, 3 and 4, he said, I passed on to you what was the most important and also what had been passed on to me. Christ died for our sins, just as the scriptures, which is another word for the Bible, just as the scriptures said. He was buried and he was raised from the dead on the third day just as the scripture said. And if you're wondering, Paul's talking about the Old Testament there. Our theme verse this week is 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17, all scriptures inspired by God. And it's useful to teach us what's true and to make us realize what's wrong in our lives. It corrects us when we are wrong. It teaches us to do what is right. God uses it to prepare and equip his people to do every good work. I encourage you to memorize that this week. Well, I think we're starting off good. And uh, I hope you are uh, you're studying along with us, reading the verses that I give you. And especially, I hope you're memorizing 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17. It's an amazing passage. And it tells you a lot about what God has to say about his book of books. God, we love you. Uh, we're just really thankful for your book of books. And we're thankful for Jesus. We're thankful for his story. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Guys, we'll see you tomorrow.